and welcome back on the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge. Happy Monday. I hope you had a fabulous weekend. Let me know what you've been up to. I've been enjoying the sun here in Manchester. It's not very often that we get the sun, even if it's been uh, quite lovely lately. But let me know what you have been up to this weekend and where are you typing from? I love to see where everyone is from here in the chat. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is the first time here at the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge, I'm your host, Clady. I'm a designer. Uh, I'm Italian, as you can probably guess from the weird accent, uh, but I'm based in Manchester in the UK where I run a design studio. I can see so many lovely people in the chat. I can see Leoni, Arefa from Dubai, George from New York City. I can see Julia Masaska still in the chat. I know that she is in Denver, Colorado. I can see Kathleen Martin from I guess San Francisco <laughs> Jack Alberto Alberto I will take on your offer to come to Florida I love I've been there many many years ago but I would love to come back uh, Steve from New Zealand Jennifer thank you so much for uh, joining me today as well Islam Colby Jacob Anthony Taylor so so good I can see a sister mirrors thank you so much for joining me are you guys ready to sharpen your skills in illustrators and learning new technique let me jump straight away into our landing page so you get started while I introduce all the different aspects here of the challenge but the first thing that we're gonna do is to jump into our landing page this is the fantastic landing page for the daily creative challenge that allows you to get all the resources that you need in order to join the, 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 the challenge successfully first thing that you gotta do if you're not done it yet is to make sure that you hit that big blue button in order to join the challenge and be reminded of every single day when the challenge is on here on behance.net slash live and if you are joining us from YouTube make sure to head on behance.net slash live in order to um, for me to read your comments because otherwise I can see here on the left side I've got my YouTube open and I can see many comments happening there but unfortunately I can read it they're very small for me to read your comment and answer your question live head on behind and I can see Divad from USA Atlanta um, Malu uh, Carrie Gina, buonasera. <laughs> I guess there are more Italians here or you're just practic practicing your Italian. Um, anyway, let's jump straight away into the second step that you got to do. So once you join the challenge, all you have to do is to scroll down and wait every day to have the beautiful challenges unveiled. As you can see, we're already on challenge number five. I'm gonna be with you until May 8th with fun challenges every single day in Illustrator. Hopefully you're learning new techniques. Let me know in the chat if there is anything that you've done so far that you found uh, particularly exciting. Um, also, I wanna remind you that today in the chat, there is gonna be a survey. So make sure that you keep your eyes peeled in the chat and you fill in that surveys that we're gonna have there. So in order to follow with me today, I provided some file for you. In order to get them, very simple, head to the beautiful landing page, which is here, behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator, and click on get started for this new isometric type challenge for today. While you go ahead and get started, and um, this is the files that you're gonna see, you're gonna find um, a C file, which is a color palette, uh, an example inspiration photo, and the Illustrator file. But while you do so, I'll introduce you very briefly to the second amazing part of the challenge, which is the international community of Discord. You'll be able to join it by simply clicking on the step number two, where it says community chat. I'm gonna zoom in so everyone can see the link. That's our beautiful community chat called Discord, I'm gonna jump into it straight away. This is the place where you share your challenges so we can all have a look at it and we can all get inspired and of course, inspire you with some feedback as well. Be brave, don't be afraid. This is a safe space for beginners and for professional to sharpen your skills and learn new techniques with these amazing credit cloud apps. And right now we're working of course in Illustrator. I'm just gonna look at the chat to see if there is um, any any particular question i can see alberto what's up and i can see anna um perfect everyone is say hi and having fun so may the fourth be with you <laughs> i'm not a star wars fan i know voodoo is gonna kill me especially because today she started the day with some um with some 
uh, Star Wars. I'm going to jump into the schedule real quick, but before I want to share with you how to submit your work into Discord, make sure that you head here on is that little feedback channel. I'm going to jump fly on the other side of the screen real quick for you to see it. Here it is. It says feed feedback and challenge. And as you can see, Kubaki has just updated his past uh, profile, his past um, challenge uh, for Friday, that was our geometric logo. And in order for you to submit your work, all you have to do is click in this little plus icon and here we go. I know I can see so many familiar uh, faces, so you know the drill, but it's good to share for those of you who are here for the first time. Well, I hope that by now you have downloaded your starter file. Uh, I'm just gonna jump into the schedule to give you another quick minute in case you just um, have joined. I can see happy birthday, PM says happy birthday. I wanna know. Who's, who's birthday today? Um, so Emmanuel, I guess that's, I'm not gonna try to pronounce your last name because I'll probably make a mess. But if that's your birthday, happy birthday. And I can see Vuduval in the chat. Hello, thank you so much for being here. Super helpful as usual. So just real quick, make sure that you head to behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator in order to download the starter file for challenge number five, isometric type. Here it is. Click on get started and get your file downloaded. Now, while you do so, I'm going to jump into the schedule real quick because Adobe Live is with you and with me and you are keeping me company here in the chat. But of course, all the amazing streamers that are with us the entire day. Adobe Live is an amazing community um, that help us to stay together on Discord, on Behance. It's a great place to find new friends and to hang out. Hang out and of course, stay creative. In fact, we started this morning with the amazing Voodooval with a start theme inspired, um, sorry, Star Wars inspired illustration, followed by F Paul Trani with the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge, first of the day. And then we just had Lisa Marie with Julia Masaska in illustration, doing beautiful, beautiful illustration in fresco. Also, we had the um, Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge right now with me, <laughs> and followed by Adobe XD Workflow and Pro Tips with Marisa Blair followed by XD Daily Creative Challenge, third creative challenge of the day, uh, with of course the wonderful uh, Howard Pinsky. And then we have Paul Trani again with Veronica Belmont introducing Adobe Spark. That's a fantastic busy day for you to stay busy. Now I'm gonna start to jump into Illustrator. Hopefully you have downloaded our file here. And as you can see, I'm gonna go straight into my Illustrator file. That was yesterday file, uh, sorry, yesterday Friday um, uh, challenge. So if you want to go and check it out into our landing page, it's called Geometry Logo. We learned how to build a grid. Uh, and also I'm gonna give you more links towards the end of the day. And I can see that there is some, the survey link is up, I mentioned it before. So go into the chat, behance.net slash live, log in with your Adobe ID and make sure that you get the feedback from the DCC survey um, there. I can see Wade, Keith, I'm gonna say the last hello before I'm gonna start jump working because as we know, the time runs so fast and I like to jump out the DCC with a lot of techniques for you. But I'm gonna get started. So if you see when you open the file that I provided in the starter pack, um, you'll find, of course, the inspiration file. If for whatever reason you, you just see a frame and uh, the, the image is not linked, remember in order to place a file in Illustrator, all you have to do is shift command P to place the file. So make sure that you go ahead in your download folder and you'll find that they're part of the starter files. And here it is. This is a, um, a sticker, as you can see, it's probably here. A sticker that I made a while ago. You can also see a little bit more of images from this sticker on my Behance page. And um, I know that I'm overdue shipping some stickers, but I've not been out very much. So I guess Alberto, hang on on those stickers. They're gonna come <laughs> hopefully pretty soon. And also you're gonna find a color palette here in your layers. If you're not familiar with Illustrator and it's the first time you're losing your layers and you don't know where they are, in order to make them um, show into your workspace, add under window and your layers is gonna be there. So just make sure that it's ticked in order to see the layers. And the layer is named appropriately, so it's called palette. And that's where you're gonna find your color palette. Um, now, 
um, another way to bring in a color palette in Illustrator is by um, introducing and importing an ACE file which you have into your starter pack. But let me show you how to do that before we start with the isometric type. So the very first thing that you have to do is to get your swatch um, panel here and if you don't find it, remember every time that I mention the word panel is the window menu on top of your Illustrator. So and here we go, you find the swatch panel there. Mine is ticked. If you can not find yours, make sure to get here and get it ticked so it appears in your workspace. And in order to import a file, of course, make if you're working with colleagues, a very smart way to keep it within your environment and to make sure that you use the correct work is to go to this little tree line, this little burger menu and click on open swatch library. As you can see, Illustrator gave us a huge amount of inspiring and gorgeous color palettes, but um, you're looking for the very specific one that your colleague, your client, your art director sent or that you have downloaded from the, our landing page, from our starter files. So I'm gonna click into other library and um, you're gonna have to go into your um, folder of course, mine is a little bit different here. Um, and what you're looking for is this ACE file here. It looks like that. If you were wondering what, what that file is, that's a file that contains your color palette. And as you can see, we have the entire full color. I kept it as well for you to have a look. And this is the color palette that we find over here um, also into our work. I can see if there is... Um, um, any question, RFA is asking Illustrator, can we place an image within the same box as we can do with InDesign? So InDesign has frames. If you go and watch my uh, streams, I'm going to point out to you uh, the best way to, to go, but I am slash video or any other tutorial here in Behance on InDesign, you'll see that Behance as a frame tool in Illustrator works a little bit different. We can place the image into the workspace with the shortcut that I provided, which is uh, Shift Command P in order to introduce an image. We do not have the frame tool, although we do have uh, different other techniques in order to uh, mask items. But if you check, I believe it's challenge number three. We looked into that as well. But let's move forward. So once we have our color palette here, is a little bit faster as well, up to you. You can use the color that I've selected. Uh, I believe that you have two pinks over here. If you want to have the exact color palette that I have, make sure that you unlock that little lock here on the red layer where it says palette. And you can try take this pink and I'm using this gray here. I decided to give it a little bit more of a contrast because there were too many pinks. So that's another way in which you can modify it. And since we're modifying a color palette, let me show you how you can actually move it into our swatch as well. So um, I'm gonna zoom in for you to have a better look. And now that I, you change this color in order to bring it here into your palette, all you have to do is to select all the colors of your artwork and go back into your swatch, swatches here and click on this new color group. By clicking this new color group, you can call it, for example, uh, challenge five new and make sure that you click on selected artwork in order to um, use all the colors that are within the selection that you made into your space and press OK. As you can see, the pattern is not introduced as part of the, the folder, um, but the color that make the pattern are there. All the things are there. And for you to export it, so let's say that you want to share it, the ACE file like I've done before, all you have to do is to make sure that you have um, into your swatches panel the color that you prefer. If you want to delete all these um, different color here, all you have to do is to um, go here into your little menu and make sure that select all unused, unused color um, is ticked. At the moment, I have only the color that I need here, so there is not really a selection. But once you uh, click on select unused, you'll be able to then delete the swatch that you don't use. So in this case, we are not using in this uh, white over here and if you see if I delete it is gonna delete it from the main palette also if we do want to save it in order to share it all we have to do is to save swatch library as ACE here it is 
So that's exactly the format that I provided for you. All you got left to do is to make sure that you save it in the correct folder and you name it appropriately, and here it is. Um, so it usually goes into a swatch folder. I will recommend it to save it on your desktop and practice to save and create more folder. But we have dived in a little bit more in details today into the swatch panel but let's get started with the isometric type. So I'm gonna click on my type tool here and click on my canvas. Now I'm working on my palette layer, as you can see is highlighted in blue. I wanna keep everything neat. So I'm gonna go into my selection tool here on my menu and select my text, press Command C to copy, and I'm gonna lock this palette um, layer so we don't make any more mistake and we go into artwork simply by clicking on the correct layer and pressing command F we're just gonna paste paste the same um, text that we created let me see if there is any question um, I can see that um, any way to make the swatches lar larger um, I believe that the different version of watching the of having a look at the swatches is here either into a grid or um, into a thumbnail view um, there is a chance to enlarge your thumbnail view when you are so make sure that you have this thumbnail new uh, thumbnail view activated over here so these little squares and then click again into the little burger menu and make sure to um, click whatever you prefer so for example large thumbnail will allow you to have a way larger um, vision of your color palette and your swatches. So I'm gonna go back into uh, medium, um, actually small, just so it takes a little bit less space. And I'm gonna concentrate on my text right now. So I'm gonna follow the example of my stickers and I'm use the word fresh, up to you, you can choose whatever you want. And if you worked with me before into these challenges, we already downloaded a type called Beba Sky. There are two ways that you can get this font from um, the um, Adobe fonts and sync it within your Creative Cloud. You can go into character here, which is under your properties panel. Now um, we have the character um, uh, the character option into the into the panel because we have a text selected the property panels changes depending on your selection if you do want to have a look specifically at the character panel go under window and you will find it there under type but I'm happy with um, this one right now. So I'm gonna start to write Bebes, and this is the one that I've downloaded. Um, but let's see, there is other way in which you can find type and sync it directly without leaving Illustrator. So if you, hit if you click on um, find more, you'll be able, for example, to uh, find Bebes new regular, which is another version of Bebes. And if you see this little cloud over here, you'll be able to activate it and basically browse um, Adobe font service without leaving Illustrator. So as you can see now, um, he's, act he's asking me if I want to activate it. I'm gonna press OK and these two little lines is, um, means that my computer is talking with the cloud and you don't, it's done. It's gonna be there into your, um, into your character here. So it's fantastic. Very, very, uh, very, very fast way. But I'm gonna use the time is running so fast. I really, really have uh, to um, move on here and I'm gonna go into my type and I'm gonna click on the size on the point and I'm gonna make it 180 in order to make it nice and big. Now I want to outline it, shortcut coming, shift, command um, O in order to outline it. Otherwise you can go under type. Uh, and create our lines as you can see here now it's not activated because we already created it once you are done creating an outline make sure that you ungroup the letter by pressing shift command g just do a few times because we have more than one letter here now i'm gonna click on the letter and go under effect extra uh, 3d extrude and bevel and you can start playing with this letter here now the the one the transformation that we're going for is isometric and i'm going to start by this isometric top i'm just going to do one letter and show you the final because the time is really really running fast um, so i'm going to go into object and expand appearance and then i'm going to press shift command g in order to ungroup all the side and once i click into the side and press i in order to trigger my um, eyedropper tool you can see that you can start and give all this side a different color now you can do that with all the letters here and i'm just going to show you um, how you can create 
uh, a different rotation. So that's the very first isometric um, rotation. Then we can go and create another one in 3D, extrude and bevel. And for example, we can use a, a left rotation here for the R. Remember then object and expand appearance and then shift command G to one group. And you can keep selecting all these amazing side that you have created. Now, if you want to have a little bit um, more of a look, press command Y in order to see the grid. And sometimes you will find that when you expand, you create all these little lines here. Not to worry, they already group in the selection. That's why you have to ungroup only one time. Then go to our amazing pathfinder panel over here under menu and press on unite, which is the very first uh, icon here in order to unite all this line and then you'll be able to uh, give them one single color or if you want to work in a little bit more uh, funky way you can just use different colors and keep, keep the line uh, just to work with a little bit more of details I can't believe we got two minutes left um, I want you to experiment with this rotation so I'm gonna show you real quick what I've done with the final of those and as you can see in this case i've used all the same um rotation for um for our um, for my sticker but if you are planning just to create an illustration you can have fun as you can see and just apply the pattern apply a stroke something very important that i want to mention if you do apply a stroke so i'm going to select one of the letters make sure that the stroke is whatever um, weight you want uh, but most importantly that the cap is rounded and also the corner is rounded in order to avoid any spike coming out i can't believe that it's gone so fast i'm just gonna share with you also my finals and i'm gonna give a quick quick shout to um a previous challenge that I've done in Photoshop because as you can see you will be able to use those amazing um, creation to have also animation and to really really use these um, amazing skills that you learn in Illustrator uh, for your social media and for a variety of output. Again, if you want to have a look at my previous video, make sure to add on iamclady.com slash video and, und and under the video, you'll be able to find the Photoshop daily creative challenge. I believe is called uh, video timeline and it's probably the last of challenge number two. Now, unfortunately, it's already time to say goodbye. I'll see you on Discord. Make sure to download you your um to share your artwork i look forward to see it and thank you so much for joining me it's always amazing to hang out here um with you i look forward to see what you do with the isometric type isometric type bye everyone i'll catch you tomorrow with challenge number six and also stay tuned because there are more challenge coming